Today on MTG Unpacked, getting stuck into an Avacyn Restored Fat Pack. So this is what they used to call the bundles. And you get a whole bunch of cool stuff here. We've got uh, the uh, Visual Encyclopedia and so forth. So let's get into it. So this set, actually 10 years old now, came out in 2012. It's the third set in the original Innistrad block. So, tons of angels in this set, along with crazy pulls like Cavern of Souls. So hopefully we can pull one of those today. Here's the uh, player's guide. We'll take a look at that later in the video. But first, they always do a poster in these old ones. Hopefully I can tear this apart without, okay, I just destroyed it. I can hear everybody wincing. So here is our poster on the inside, Avacyn Restored. So we'll set that aside and let's take a look at our box here. So weird cardboard insert, very cool. We've got the angel there. If you know who that angel is, leave a note in the comments. And of course on the playmat we have Sagata who is also in this set. Uh, that artwork's from Innistrad Crimson Vow. Okay, there should be... Oh, I know, the dice is in here. All right, so we'll set that aside. Let's take a look at our deck boxes. So we've got Grizzle Brand there. And the Angel, the Mysterious Angel. So we'll get into this right here. So check out the dice. So I don't actually have one of these. So we've got the set symbol there. Let's so roll a lucky seven and a three. Okay, halfway there almost. So I don't know if that's a good or bad sign. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five packs. We'll take a look at this flyer later in the video along with the land packs. I know people like to Check out the artwork on those. So let's get into this. A little bit tough to just tear it apart. There we go. All right, so lands over there. Four more packs. Let's get to cracking. So what do you think of this set? Is this something you were playing back in the day? Leave a note in the comments. And actually the first time opening a bundle on the channel of this set. We've opened a bunch of packs before, booster boxes and so forth. So we have Wildwood Geist, Geist Trappers, Amass the Components, Renegade Demon, Borderland Ranger, Galvanic Alchemist, Somberwald Vigilante, Moonlight Geist, Nightshade Peddler, that guy is creepy, Near Heath Pilgrim, Thunderous Wrath, Tormentor's Trident, and a Mythic, yes, right off the bat, Primal Surge, all right. And we get a very awesome Angel, Forest, and a Foil Cruin Striker. Okay, so we'll make room for our foils and so forth. On to the next, I don't know about Primal Surge, the value of that one these days. Not one of the heavy hitters, but I think it's probably still okay. Next, we have Guise of Fire, Trusted Force Mage, Searchlight Geist, Angels Mercy, Seraph Sanctuary, Timberland Guide, Damolish, Scrapskin Drake, Vanguard Shield, Druids Familiar for the Uncommons, Commander's Authority, Eaten by Spiders, and Silverblade Paladin is the Rare. Along with a ad here with Grizzle Brand. Anything else? Nope. And we've got an island. Oh, and another foil, Howlgeist. What is going on here? Are we supposed to get a foil in every pack? Or is it just luck of the draw? Well, let's see on the next one here. We have Dangerous Wager, Havengul, Scarb, Soul Cage Fiend, Uncanny Speed. Righteous Blow, Scroll of Avacyn, Unhallowed Pact, Raging Poltergeist, Pill from Reality, Curse Break, and Ghostly Touch for the Uncommons, Wolf Fear Avenger, Blessings of Nature, and Wild Defiance is the rare. 
Also got an awesome and creepy zombie and a mountain. Okay, no foil in that one. So my piles are all messed up. There we go, tokens in that one. And Tybalt is he in this set? Oh, could you imagine pulling one of those? Not the uh, craziest pull by any stretch, but it would be fun. We have Fleeting Distraction, Moorland Inquisitor, Searchlight, Geist, Scroll of Avison, Handwear Lancer, Somberworld Vigilante, Essence Harvest, Driver of the Dead, Galvanic Alchemist, Timberland Guide, and Demonic Taskmaster for the Uncommons, Tandem Lookout. Triumph of Cruelty. Oh, is that Liliana in the background? And Harvester of Souls is the rare. Also got a cool spirit. Planes, and that is that. Okay, so Grizzle Brand here. So which of the uh, sets on the Plane of Innistrad is your favourite? So we've got the original Innistrad block. We've got Shadows over Innistrad and Eldritch Moon. And of course, in 2021, we have uh, uh, Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow. Let me know in the comments. We've got Lair Delve, Nettle Swine, Crypt Creeper. That is always creepy. Elgord Shieldmate, Cruin Striker, Voice of the Provinces, Mad Prophet, Mental Agony. That's some iconic artwork right there. Ghost Form, Zealous Strike, and Aggravate for the Uncommons. Marrow Bats, Bat Skeleton, okay. Tormentor's Trident and Devastation Tide is the rare. We've got a Spirit and an Island. Okay, so four more packs. One Mythic. Not a high-end Mythic from what I recall, but you know what? We ain't complaining. Getting one Mythic is pretty good for a bundle or fat pack. We have Uncanny Speed, Lair Delve. Nettle Swine, Crypt Creeper again, Cruin Striker, Necrobite, Sheltering Word, Call to Serve, Heirs of Stromkirk, and Devout Chaplain for the Uncommons, Stone Rite, Triumph of Ferocity, and Gloom Surgeon for the rare. We've got a awesome human, a forest, and it feels like there's a foil here. Into the Void. Okay. So three foils. That seems a bit of a higher pull rate than normal. These older sets, they were really stingy with the foils. Not like the new ones where they practically hand them out in every pack. Okay, we have Malicious Intent. Pathbreaker Worm. Rot Crown Ghoul. And doesn't that look like a dog face zombie? I always thought so. Fervent Cathar, Cloud Shift, Predator's Gambit, Spectral Prison, Call to Serve, Mental Agony, there it is again, Unhallowed Pact, Corpse Traders for the Uncommons, Into the Void, there we go again, Lightning Molar, and Silver Blade Paladin for the rare. Followed by an awesome zombie and mountain. Alright, last two packs, and then we'll get stuck into the rest of the goodness. We've got a Mist Raven, Soul Cage Fiend, Banners Raised, Rock Crown Ghoul Grounded, Dread Waters, Mad Prophet, Sheltering Word, Crippling Chill, Spectral Prison, and Gang of Devils for the Uncommons. Emancipation Angel, Tandem Lookout, and Druid's Repository for the rare. Along with, what is this, an Ad Gatherer? Okay, I prefer Scryfall actually when I'm researching decks and so forth. So you can search by all sorts of card types and it really helps when you're doing your deck building. Final pack here, we have Crypt Creeper. Go away, please. Elgod, Shieldmate, Dangerous Wager, Predator's Gambit, Fervent Cathar, Angel's Mercy, Deathwind. That is some awesome artwork right there. Thatcher Revolt, Diagraph Escort, Seraph Sanctuary, and Vanishment for the Uncommons. Angel's Tomb, Bower Passage, 
and Deadeye Navigator. That is not too shabby. And an Angel and Swamp. Okay, so I think we had some decent pulls today. So take a look at the other stuff here. So they don't include these large flyers these days, but uh, good if you're a new player. They show you a lot of info on these things. So let's unfold it. So, how to play. Gather your allies, what you need. So you need a deck of cards, obviously. Got some info about rarities. And then, of course, different Planeswalkers. We've got Chandra, Garrick, Soren, and Jace, along with Gideon. And here is how you lay out your battlefield. And tells you about what some of the stuff on the cards mean. And then on the other side, more how to play info. So your first game, if I can get that, there we go. Bunch of useful info. Combat, and then they have attacking and blocking. So how all that works, we've got a combat example. And then we have turn order, casting spells, and this bit is very useful for new players. Parts of a magic card, along with card types. And then on the side, they've got all this glossary here, so a whole bunch of different terms. You might want to freeze frame that and uh, see what that's all about. So, can be a bit overwhelming at times, but there we have it. Okay, so the lands up next. So, they don't do this anymore. Um, not these big packs anyway. They like to give you like some foils and some non-foils. So we'll take a look at the artwork here. I know a lot of people appreciate it. So we've got our plains, island, swamp, forest. Did I skip a mountain? Yep. Then we've got a different plains, island, mountain, swamp. Okay, so I think, yeah, a bit of, keep skipping over the mountains. Bunch of variety there. Okay, so we've checked those out. And finally, the player's guide. Watsy, please bring these back. Although they'll probably be huge with all the different variant cards they have. Hope Springs Eternal. It's dangerous to go alone. Journey, not destination, and enduring evil. So some nice lore there. The Hunt for Grizzle brand. Avison Restored Grizzle Brand release, that's not good. And the Aftermath. Here's Tybalt, the Fiend Blooded. Bit of a joke of a Planeswalker, actually. Tamio, poor, poor Tamio. If you know the lore from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, you'll know why. And then we have the top 10 coolest Avison Restored cards. So we've got Avison, Angela Hope, Grizzle Brand, Sigarda, Rite of Ruin, Tandem Lookout. We pulled that a bunch of times. We've got Terminus, Moon, Silver Spear, Tybalt, the Fiend Blooded. I don't know about his inclusion on that list. Homicidal, Seclusion, and Howlgeist. Okay, and then we have the complete card encyclopedia. So these are awesome. I'd much rather uh, flick through one of these than uh, go through it online. Although I will say, uh, like I said earlier, Scryfall is good if you're hurrying up and trying to build some decks. You can quickly search for keywords and uh, abilities and so forth. But nothing beats sitting down with a nice beverage and reading through the card encyclopedia here, checking out all the new cards, or at least they were new 10 years ago. And yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Really enjoy flicking through these. Got the lands at the back. And then a card checklist. So a whole bunch of cards to collect there. They have a whole bunch more these days. And there we go. All things magic all at one place. So let me know in the comments what you think of this set. And uh, have you had any crazy pulls out of it? Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.